What's up, you guys? All right, so we went to the store yesterday, right? I went to, <laughs> why did I say it like that? I went to my Publix nearest supermarket and I got these Nerd Custard candy. I know you guys have seen the commercial with the girl and they're really good, guys. Like, I kind of like them. But my issue that I have is this tooth, like, right here. If I eat anything hard, it hurts. So I only finished, like, this much of it. Or, like, about here. The rest is candy. Or the rest of it is the candy. So I'm going to show you guys what they look like. They're so cute. Look. They're little custards. And they're so, like, it's good, guys. Like, it's really, 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 really good. We're going to try one. Because growing up, and then it looks like that inside. Don't mad my bad fingernails. I bite them too much. You want to tell me not to. So, a review on custard. Nerds, gummy, no. Nerds Custard Kande. Let me tell you how much sugar is in them, okay? So it's 100, 100 grams, no fat. Sodium is 45. That's not good for some people who can't do sodium. Carbs is 24. Sugar is 21. Of course, there's vitamin D. I don't know why the hell vitamin D is in everything, but I guess that's a good thing. And these were made, these... Their expiration date of when these expire are on October 24. October, it just says October 2024. So I don't know what that means, but I guess that's when it expires. It doesn't tell you exactly. When these first came out, when these were first invented, not nerds, but this, this type of candy, was in 2023. So these are new, 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 new. So they're called Nerds Custard Candy. And they're good. I like them because I used to, like, okay, fun fact, guys. When I was in high school, right? My best, one of my best friends from Ohio, right? His dad worked in a candy store. Like, just like Willy Wonka. Oh, guys, this should be like about the Willy, Will, because I got to tell you guys that too. So anyways, he worked in a Willy Wonka, like a Willy Wonka kind of store, right? So my dream was to always own my own candy store. But I mean like all out. And they actually opened one up in Jacksonville, Florida, or met door, wherever it is. It's like about a good four hours for me. And I want to open me a candy store, like, really, really bad. That's, like, my dream. So, anyways. <clears throat> so, his dad and me became, like, really good friends and whatever. So, he sent me <clears throat> boxes and boxes and boxes of, like, gum, nerds, M&M's, peanut butter m and Well, no, peanut butter m and were not out yet. But just, like, the they had the, the nut ones with the, you know, the peanuts in it. And then they had the, red, the regular black bag that's just peanut butter m m So he would send me those and he would send me a lot of gum. I was known as the gum guy in school because when I was in high school, and I don't know if it's still the same, you weren't allowed to have gum. Like you would get written up, you'd get a referral or you could like, it was, you weren't allowed to have gum or your cell phones out. That was the biggest thing when I was starting because cell phones just came out kind of. And then gum was a big thing because kids would stick the gum under the desk and it was so bad for the janitors that had to clean it up. And I understand that because that was one of my jobs when I was doing OJT. We had to clean the under the desk and stuff. And it was annoying. So I get it. Um, so anyways, I would be the gum person. So I would sneak gum and give it to like different people, right? And just be like, yo, don't tell them where you got this from. <clears throat> so anyways, I, me and my friend just went and saw the Wonka, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory Wonka movie. It was so good. It's a redo of the one that they did in the 19... 40s, I want to say. No, they've done two of them. They've done two of them. But my favorite one is the 1940s or 1950s one. That's the one I grew up watching. Um, and there was that creepy guy in the alley that used to scare me when he says, run home, run home. Don't tell anybody. Run, run, run. Charlie. I think his name was Charlie. Run, Charlie. And that song comes from an oompa, oompa, doopity doo, whatever. Anyways, so that was my favorite original one. Then they did a remake in like 2002, 2003. That was good. This one was... T um, Timothy Chalamet, who I think is a good actor. He's doing really good. Um, he can rap, too. I saw him on Saturday Night Live. He's a really good actor. Um, this one was good. I went and saw it, and it was so much fun. Um, it was a good movie. So, anyways, but what I was going to tell you guys was, so when I was in D.C. in 2020, 2020, 
one, I think it was, I was in DC for 2021. And I was super small, guys. I was looking good, whatever. I used to walk the mall a lot. And I went into this candy store and this Indian lady was running it. And I was like, oh my God, my dream is to end up, uh, have a candy store. And she was like, do you want it? You can have it. Like, I'll sell it to you because, you know, COVID was at that time and everything was kind of like hard business wise. So she's like, I will give it to you. And my sister was like, She's not telling you what's behind it. Maybe the store is in debt. Maybe there's a problem. Like, you don't want that hassle. But guys, I'm telling you not. The candy had candy all the way up to the wall. And it was from, like, different countries. It had, like, every different type of candy. And it was, like, super cool. And then they had, like, gum and, and the Everlasting Gum Stopper. And they had, like, all these different things and baby bottle pops and gummy worms and the world's biggest gummy worm and, like, different stuff. And I was like, oh, my God, I would be in heaven. I would love to work in the store. So I wanted to bring one to Florida because Florida didn't have a lot of them. And then the one in Jacksonville, like I told you, I think they closed during COVID and never reopened. Um, I'm sorry, my chest is right ahead. I'm like breathing very heavy. I don't know what's going on. I hope I don't have a blood clot anymore. Um, again. So then I remember like when we, me and my sister went on our cruise to the Bahamas where you can't go anymore. They stopped letting cruises come in because people are being killed and stuff. You can't go there anymore. To NASA, um, I remember. I remember we went to a candy store that was on the cruise strip. They call it where you can sell businesses and stuff, and it was so pretty. We went in there, and this little she was so pretty. This woman that was selling it to us, and they had like all this different stuff, and I saw like different Pokemon and different things, and like Avatar and all this, all this cool stuff that I was like, oh my god, I want to get my son something, <clears throat> but I didn't even do it. I forget why. Um, I did get him a shirt. Um, but seriously, I can't breathe. What is wrong with me? I don't know what's wrong with me, guys. Anyways, so we did that. That was fun. And then we went to... So I was like, I want a candy store one day. So if I ever make it big, guys, I'm getting me a candy store. <clears throat> so these are called Nerds. I already told you guys that. Um, they're really good. They have like a little sour taste to them. But so, excuse me. So TikTok might get shut down, guys. Again, if Congress votes on it, we might know something by as early as next week, guys. So I'm gonna probably do another video like I did one time, and TikTok didn't get shut down, and Jama laughed at me because I made that pity story, and then they don't even get shut down. So. I probably should do another one and tell everyone to follow me on inst Instagram on XX and follow me on YouTube if you guys want to keep seeing my content. But guys, I think what I'm going to do, comment below if you guys want me to do the world's biggest gummy bear because I've seen it or do the world's biggest, <clears throat> I don't know, I want to come up with some fun challenges this summer like in, in June, around my birthday, guys, we're going to see Noah's Ark that they made that's in Kentucky. And I'm going to try to blog it this time. Because we went to a light show in December when I was with my sister or in the end of November. And it was like this Christmas thing at this big baseball stadium in D.C. And I couldn't really blog because I had to hold on to my nephew and I couldn't let him run off. So I couldn't really blog. And then plus there was music that I probably would have got copyrighted. But I really was trying to blog, guys, to do a video because it was really pretty how they did it. It was like a winter wonderland. It was super, super cool. They had fake snow and it was like just, it was so magical. Like, I loved it. And I was like, this would have been like a really cool blog and a really cute, cute, cute date night. It would have been so cool. Like, it was like a date night for me and my sister and my nephews. Like, it was so fun. But I was like, this would be an awesome date night. So... When we go to DC, or when I go to Ohio in the summer, maybe, it's still a maybe, but um, I'm going to try to blog it so I could blog that. And then I might 
do that and then um, try to vlog. It's going to be Noah's Ark. It's in Noah's Ark Museum when God said he was going to flood the world and then he flooded it and he told Noah. Like, it's a whole story. If you guys don't know who he is, shame on you, but look it up in the Bible. I'm kidding, not shame on you. A lot of people didn't pay attention to their Bible when they were in Bible school. But yeah, get your nerds, gusterds or custards or whatever you call it. Um, and it's funny because they have my two favorite colors. They have my green and my orange that I like, but not those two dark colors. I like lighter green and I like a lighter orange, like this color orange. This is what I like. That is my favorite. But guys, we gotta talk about something too because I know a lot of my content sometimes comes off kind of like stupid or boring or people might think that I'm like sad or depressed or like what's going on with what's Matt or Reese Boy or whatever you know me by. It's not, how do I explain it? It's not that I'm depressed and it's not that I'm, okay, I'm lying. I am depressed, but I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going through a lot mentally in my head that I know this is supposed to be a happy video, but I want to be honest with you guys too. Um, you have to get to a point in your life, and I think I'm at that point again, where, where... I don't know. I just feel like, honestly, if I can be completely honest... When I did my whole weight loss journey, right, guys, and I was, like, all excited, and I watch those videos sometimes, okay? My mom might think that I'm obsessed with myself. But anyways, it empowers me to watch those videos again and to get my motivated again. And I honestly feel like I'm mad at myself for failing myself in a way, like letting myself fall down. And I was talking to one of my best friends, Lily. Shout out to you, Lily and John. I miss you guys. Um, and she encouraged me because she was like, you know what? She's like, I watch your channel and I bet you hundreds of other people watch your channel that get encouraged by you because you show them the goods and the bad. You don't always just show good, 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 good. You show them when you're struggling too. And it's more relatable and people can relate to you. And I still want to do a podcast with her because I really feel like the stuff she's been through and that I've been through and what John has been through, I feel like our podcast would be super, super big because we would talk about everything and there would be nothing that we would hold like we want to talk about, but it would be like such a good podcast because it's like two people that are very like Christian organized, like we're, we're big Christians, but then at the same time, it's like, we still understand like kind of what the world is going through. And then it's like two people that like are very passionate in helping people and being a part of everything and helping people like just, just to be better, better people basically. And, and let them understand that people have flaws and they, they have issues and it's okay. And you got to find your good friends like that. You have to have friends like that in your life that like, you know, I've told you that story that like, we all stopped talking for like five years, right? But at the end of the time, it was like, we never hated each other, never talked bad about each other or nothing. It was just that we all had to find ourselves. And God knew that like, he was going to bring us back together after five years. And it's like, you know, it's like, that's it, you know, but it's like, at the same time, it's like me in general in my life. And I'm not saying that like other people are not struggling. I know other people are struggling in life. You know, a lot of people are, especially people that are dealing with this war right now and their families have been killed and da 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 da. But I think my biggest struggle that really messed me up um, in 2020 was one was the pandemic. Okay, that was very depressing for me. Um, it wasn't depressing in the sense of like, I was so isolated because I was not going to let myself be isolated. I was not going to just stay stuck in my house all day like my parents wanted me to be and not go out with JAMA and not go hang out with people and not travel. Because I remember exactly when COVID hit. It literally hit in March and I was supposed to go to DC in March right after my surgery, right? Thank God I was able to do my surgery. So my parents for Christmas of 2020, 2019 got me a round trip ticket because they were so proud of me for doing everything. A round trip ticket. My first flight, guys, since my surgery. Before, my first flight in like a long time. My last flight at that time was 2010. So this was my first flight, right? And the airport was like, oh, you'll have to buy two seats and we'll pay you back and blah, blah, blah. It was going to be like 650 round trip ticket. So my dad got me a ticket and I went to DC and I remember COVID was still hitting. We didn't know what was really going on. And I remember they were like, shutting down everything. And so my sister-in-law worked at the airport. She's like, well, we're not shut down yet. So 
my parents and my dad was told to stay home and don't come back to work, work from home. So when they told him that and they canceled all his trips, he was like, Matt, I don't think you should go. This is serious, blah, 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 blah. And then my mom started playing mind games with me and my sister's like, you better come. And then my aunt was like, you better get your butt on that plane. Don't let them play mind games with you. So I got on the plane and I, the plane I told you guys was completely empty. There were seven people on my plane. It was like a private jet. And the lady's like, sit wherever you want, sweetie. The airports were not packed. There was like barely anybody. Like people who had to fly were there. People who didn't have to fly were not there. They just were not. And I'm telling you, like I could see, you know, you, usually there's people in front of you. I could see all the way down to the cockpit door without anybody's heads. Like I could see the stewardess and I was sitting in first class. My dad surprised me with that. But like, it was not packed at all. And that was all of 2020. Cause I went, I went to DC in 2020. I stayed a month and a half. And then I went to Texas the end of 2020 and I stayed for three months. Stupid, my stupid decision, but I was trying to be a good person. <clears throat> so basically that was honestly what I think really kind of like mentally messed with my head was what I was going through in Texas. There was a lot of like just unstableness and it was a lot of a lot of hurt and a lot of frustration and a lot of trauma and there was a lot of stuff in it. It's not one-sided. It goes both ways. Um, but and then I came back and then my grandpa almost died in that time. So that was stress. And then I honestly think the problem that with my diet, because guys, I lost, when I was in Texas, I was weighing 316, 317 or something when I went to Texas, right? I went back up and then I lost it again and I got down to 250 before I left Texas. So I was there for three months. I was there October, November, December, right? I left December 15th. When I hit back in Florida, I was weighing 250. When Jama saw me the first time, she said, oh my God. She said, what happened to you? I was like, what do you mean? She's like, boo, you look sick. I was like, what do you mean? She's like, you just look like a skeleton. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, I can't win with you people. And she's like, no, I'm proud of you, but just like put a little bit more weight on, just a little bit, just a little bit. But my dumb butt put a lot more than a little bit. But I'm telling you, all of 2021, guys, I still looked good. If you look at the YouTube videos, I still look good. And I went to Ohio, I went to DC. I went to DC a lot in 2021. And then um, I was doing YouTube videos. I was walking, my nephew was born. I was hanging out with my nephew a lot and still dealing with the stress of my grandpa. And then I came back. So anyways, there was a lot going on, guys. And then in my home life, it was not that good either. But you know, honestly, now that I know this, and, I, and I've said this to him too, I honestly feel like there was a reason why God kept me around was for my son because, you know, he was going to lose his mom and then he was going to need like another parent around, someone that he can just like, you know, he just needed another parent. So now I understand why here I am wanting to be selfish and be dead. And God was like, no, I'm not done with you. You need to be in another person's life and help him and you know, and he thanks me for that. And then plus I need to be there for my sister and I need to be there for my nephews and I need to be there for hell. Even my, even my parents that drove me crazy sometimes, even different friendships. So it's like, God's like, I'm not done with you yet. Keep going, keep fighting. So with all that being said, 18 minutes into this video, yes, my content sometimes can be dark and my content sometimes can be happy. And sometimes people can be like, why are you faking it? We know you're sad. But I, when I first started this platform on May 20. May 14th, 2018, right? So almost, it'll be seven years this May. I can't forget that. Because um, last year, I think I, I missed my anniversary. But I always told you I was going to be honest with this channel. I was not going to lie to you guys, and I was not going to sugarcoat it. And if I never make it big to a point where I can live off of YouTube, or I get noter and I do other videos with other people, that's fine, you know? It takes a while to get big in the U.S. I'm big in different countries, right? I really am. Um, I'm even in Jamaica, and I didn't even know that. Shout out to Jamaica to all my fans. Comment below. I'm big in India. Shout out to India. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm big in the Philippines. Shout out to the Philippines. Um, and the U.K. But, um, yeah. Like there are times that I'm sad, guys. I really am. And I still want someone to do a video with. I want someone to like share this with. Jama don't post no more. So that dream is dead, I guess. I don't know when she'll start posting again. And then my parents say they'll do it, but then they never do it. 
And my son says he's not ready, so I said that's fine. Um, that's it. Like, I don't really have anyone else to do video with. The person that I would love to do a video with, and I know we would have a big channel, is my sister, but she can't. But it would be so fun, definitely. Because we would do workout videos. We would do food reviews. We would do different stuff. Like, it would be fun, but, like, she can't. But, um... If anyone wants to that lives in Florida, hit me up, guys. Comment below. Hit me up on Instagram. Like, I'm dead. Like, I'm dead serious. I would do a video with you guys. I don't care. I would collab with you guys. But I think when my kid says yes, I really think that we'll have a fun channel because I'm going to let him do the edit editing of the videos. I'm going to let him edit the videos. And he'll probably do really cool thumbnails and all that different stuff and music and cuts and different things so it's not just one blonde long video i can do it guys because i have this laptop that my parents got me for youtube and my photography i'm still learning how to work it after what because i finished school in 2021 so maybe four years three years 21 22 23 24 yeah four years so my son said he can help me do that guys i could pay for the software to edit my videos and just take over. Because if we lose TikTok, guys, this is where my new presence is going to be. Because I can't do TikTok no more. And Instagram. So, but I love you guys. And make sure to like and subscribe. Go get you some nerds. Custards, guys. They're really good. Let me let you guys see them one more time. One more time. Nerds, custards. Nerds, custards. Nerds, custards. But, guys, let me know if you guys would come to my candy store. What should I name it? Should I do, like... Reese Boy Candy Store, or just do Reese's Candy Store, or should I do RB30 Candy Store, or should I do Matt's Candy Store, or Max's Candy Store? I don't know, something like that. Or should I just do Max Candy? I don't know, something like that. I gotta find something that like won't get me in trouble and sued because someone else has the name, you know, like something like that. But go get you some nerds. I don't know if I'm gonna give this to my nephew or to my son, because I think my son would like them. Um, but yeah, guys. And say happy birthday to my niece, Charlotte. Her birthday is tomorrow. Her birthday is tomorrow. She turns five tomorrow. And then my nephew's birthday is the 14th and he turns nine. So say happy birthday, Charlotte, and happy birthday, Harrison. And then yesterday was my old best friend, Brett's birthday. So happy birthday, Brett. Um, and that's all the birthdays I know that are in March, I think. Oh, my grandma and my cousin, Hazel. So anyways, I love you guys. And, uh, Stay safe. Peace out. Bye-bye.